name is Matt, welcome back to the shop and today we're going to answer a comment. Someone asked, and people do do this, they ask something versus something all the time. And what's your thoughts on, and this is what this video is, what's your thoughts on uh, valve size versus Batman? versus Superman. Versus Brock. The cock. <sighs> so, um, no, <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> that's it, okay. I get something between my teeth and I just can't fucking let go. I'm going, no, one, one more, one more, one more, one more. No, we've overdone it now, Matt. One more, don't matter, keep on going, fuck it. Um, so, <laughs> the question was, what is your uh, opinion or whatever of valve size versus valve lift? Well, it, that, the reason why I was taking the piss in the intro is because... There isn't much choice. It's not like you pick one over the other, but we'll go through it anyway. So let me just explain why. Let's stick, and I shouldn't have rubbed that out. Let's stick with valve size, All right? Well, valve size is, you know, it's predetermined by how many valves you're willing to buy. And, you know, so let's just stick with something simple. Let's just stick with a four valve cylinder. It, be it an inline four, a, t a V twin, whatever it doesn't matter. You know, you are, you want to go. These want to be as big as you can fucking get them, right? That's that's just it. Right? You want them to be as big as you can get them, um, because cooling reasons, because loads of reasons, right? You want the max amount of flow you can get, and with high revving engines, flow is hard to come by. When you go to really high revs, you've got a very short amount of time. All this bullshit you hear about velocity versus mass flow rates is nonsense. It's like horsepower versus torque. The flow rate is the velocity. Um, the velocity, I am going to oh, let's use a calculator times. It's times the area. Right, over time, right, mass flow rate is the velocity times the area over time. So basically, you get the area here, the area here. If these are the same, then you just call that the area, right? Or you can call it A1, A2, all that shite. And then the velocity gives you this length here, and so does the time. So it's meters per second. So if you write all this out, your velocity would be meters per second, right? And it's just basically times your area, right? So this isn't, you've already got that. You've got your meters times your area over seconds, right? So it's just your, what is it, your velocity. And the reason why I say that is because velocity people just think of woof, they don't think of the time element involved. They just think of the movement. So it's basically this, right? That's what it is. It's basically your meters of this area so you're basically making a cylinder right if you can then add say well this is air and it weighs x amount per liters you can put the kilograms in there as well right so that's mass flow rates but regardless it doesn't really if you're using the same fluid like air all the time you don't need the mass in there right you just don't unless you're trying to work out fueling you know what i mean but then saying that they're so close, well, they're not close actually. No, if you're doing fueling, yeah, you'd need the mass, sorry. Right, so, um, just ignore all them twats who say velocity is more important, not flow. That's a lot of nonsense. Because at the end of the day, think of it as trying to fill a jar full of jelly beans in a certain time. So you've got two seconds to fill a jar with jelly beans, right? That's it. If you have a little pissy hole right here, yeah, the fucking jelly beans fly into it, but... What's the fucking point? You want a big fucking opening and pour them all in. <sighs> and the other thing is, they can talk about ports until they're blue in the face. It's actually at the valve 
interface and the cylinder that makes all the difference. And I'm going to do an awful lot of stuff about this. And we're going to do some tests and all sorts, make a floor bench soon, yada, 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 yada. So, you're basically restricted by how big your valves can be because of your CC, because of your cylinder, because of your bore and stroke, right? Just your bore, really. That's what is more important for your, your cylinder, your valve size. But things come with this. So larger valves, larger valves, they have bigger heads. And generally speaking, that means they, the, you know, if you have a small head like this, you can have a really skinny valve because it's not really that uh, valve stem. It's not really that heavy. So bigger valves equal heavier which means harder to accelerate, blah, 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 blah. Um, so hence why you try and make valves out of titanium, stuff like that, you know, try and make them lighter and stuff so the accelerations aren't as harsh, blah, 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 and all this kind of shite. Um, with bigger valves, you generally need less lift. So why, let's have a look at the other side of things. What is the lift about? You know, how far the valves lift? So if we get rid of that, and we look at the valve lift. So you can have, let's just say that's your port, and this is your valve, right? You can have low lift, or you can have, that's a shit valve, isn't it? You can have large lift, large, or you can have small lift. What's the difference here? So, number one is large lift means that you have more of a ramp on your cam. So let's just say you have a cam base circle that big. And then you have a, if you have that much lift compared to this little pea size lift, it means that more of your cam nose, this ramp here, is bigger. Right? So more of your valve um, duration, so just say from open there to open there, Compared to open there, so open there. This is just to exaggerate cams out this shit in profile. But uh, it means that a lot more as a percentage is lifting the valve so you don't accelerate the shit out of it too much, which is all about jerk and stuff, which we'll talk about later. Right? Um, it also means usually if you have large lift, you are further away from your base circle, which means that you obviously have to have a bigger cam to accommodate that. And you generally have larger accelerations and stuff. So, bike manufacturers, because they don't need the leverage from the cranks, so they don't need that high torque, they can just make medium torque and just bat it with revs. You know what I mean? Because they can do that because the, the load on the engine isn't as high because you're not trying to shift the initial inertia to shift the bike isn't as high as it is a car. Same with the acceleration, stuff like that. It's all about forces. Because you don't need to do that, we can go bigger bores, and because we can go bigger bores, it means we get bigger valves, which we have short lift. So, ideally, you would want larger valves, smaller lift, for several reasons. Um, like I've just said, you know what I mean? You can spend less time with less lift, accelerating the, the profile backwards and forwards. If you can stay at a given... Um, opening you know so basically it just opens and it stays there and then it closes and this open and closed section here this section here and this section here are smaller and this you know is your each th these ends are dynamic yeah they're not cha they're, they're changing from millisecond to millisecond where this isn't right it's just constant and we love a good constant right because it is easier to um, accommodate constants. If you just hold constant anything, it's like, yes, we know exactly what's going to happen, blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? Um, it's one of those things, and we're going to look at cams and stuff. But just as a thing of what's... The question itself of what's more important or what what's better, valve size or valve lift, well, no one's putting tiny valves in massive cylinders. You know what I mean? Oh, there shouldn't be retards. Uh, and it's one of the arguing cases against using a five-valve head, which we will go into um, once we do more videos about accelerations and curves and cams and profiles and shit and what actually happens at this interface, because 
the air you might have to squeeze through this narrow passage as your valve skirt but then all of a sudden it's a big fucking canyon it's massive diffuser and what happens there and lick back under the valve and all sorts and how that in blah we'll go through that and all the old things used to like port twist and stuff and then they realized that they didn't need to use the do that whatsoever it was all a load of nonsense i hope that makes sense for the time being this is like i said these are just shop chats where i'm just spitting um you know just rhyming <laughs> dickhead oh that makes sense i'll see you in a bit